The ZWO electronic focuser is really great for astrophotography, but I ran into an issue with mine, and I want to show you what happened and how I corrected the issue. So basically the issue was is that I would go in there to my, my ASI Air and look for the focuser and it just didn't exist, even though it was connected. Now I tried new cables, I tried plugging it and unplugging it over and over. Sometimes unplugging it and plugging it back in worked, but eventually got to the point that I just could not use it any longer. So I contacted ZWO Technical Support and opened a ticket and they suggested that I go and try and update the firmware. Now the issue is, is that the first time I did this, when I tried to update the firmware, it would not recognize that the ZWO uh, focuser was actually attached to the computer. But I tried it over and over and eventually got it to work. So let me show you how this is done. So I'm on a Mac, so I went over to the downloads page and I'll put a link down below in the description. And then I downloaded the firmware updating tool. Now once this is downloaded, open the zip file and take a look at the contents here. And you will see a readme file, an updater, and then a hex file. And I'm going to go in here to the EAF firmware Mac. And we'll review the readme file. And it shows you, you know, they don't want you to really upgrade the firmware unless you're having an issue. But I am having an issue, and so I'm going to do this. So I'm going to launch the app and I get this error because I have not allowed unidentified developers. So I just go to the security settings and allow this app. So here's the kind of the daisy part. So it may or may not connect and you have to have it connected in order to upgrade the firmware. So I was fortunate enough to be able to scan and find it. And then we just connect to the uh, focuser and then it will show you the firmware version currently on there which is 3.3.7. Now to actually update it, we need to load the hex file, the 3.3.8 hex file. And to do that, you press the FW Update button and search on your computer to find that hex file and then load it. Now incidentally, even if you show the same firmware version that you have, I would suggest you update the firmware because I talked to the tech support about this and that's what they said to do. And so this takes a few seconds to upload and then it's going to go through a countdown timer and try and restart. Now, when it tries to restart and if it cannot find your focuser, well, don't panic. It'll just I'll show you what to do. So here you can see it. there's nothing there. The scan button's grayed out. Everything seems to be dead. So you can relaunch the firmware upgrade tool and try again. And if it still doesn't show, unplug your focuser and plug it back in. And it should show up. So now you can see it still cannot find it, and so I'm going to unplug the focuser and plug it back in and try again. And now it shows up, and as you can see, we have the 3.3.8C firmware updated, and so now it's time to test it with your ASI Air or whatever application you're using. Now here I've unplugged it from my computer, the USB cable, and plugged it back into the ASI port, and now when I go over to the focuser, it can find it and it's now working properly. And so to test to make sure it's really working, I'm going to restart my ASI Air and reboot it and see if it comes up automatically as it should. Okay, I'm rebooting the ASI Air and I'm going to reload it and see if we can see it. And there is the focuser. It is already on just like it's supposed to be. So if you're having an issue like this, first try and change your cables. And if that doesn't work, then go right to the firmware update tool and see if you can get it running that way. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found it useful. And if you want to see more updates like this, please subscribe to my channel.